Introducing Synchron Duality Strings Virtuoso, the new secret weapon you didn't know you're missing. Hello my friends and welcome back to VSL's YouTube channel, Vincent here. I hope that you're doing great and that you're excited as much as I am, about the release of the fourth installment of the Synchron Duality String series. After the regular, the Sordino and the Colors versions, here comes Synchron Duality Strings Virtuoso. If you have worked with sample libraries for a long time, you would know that there are some delicate articulations, some random musical moves that real players can do. But those are hard to get just by programming or just impossible to fake. Synchron Duality Strings Virtuoso bridges that gap. It's a new pack of exclusive articulations with exquisite short notes, dynamics, falls, rises, glissandi runs, and more. As always, they were recorded with great attention to detail, following the Duality Strings recording philosophy. This library works well with all the Duality Strings collections and also with all your Synchron collections. Maestro Guy Bacchus already did a walkthrough of this library, which you can watch here, and I will show you how inspiring this library is for me. Let's see what it does, let's see which options it opens when you actually play with it right after the installation. I immediately feel inspired by the rises and falls at the cellos. <laughs> Actually, the rise or the fall happens at the aftertouch. That's cool! I just love that. This is so much better than doing it with the pitch wheel. For example, it's slightly out of tune. You can almost feel the fingers of the cellist going down or up on the fingerboard, and it adds a lot of realism. Those tiny little details that you don't notice when they are here, and that you notice when they are not. I feel compelled to add some high eerie strings textures to add more suspense. I will use Synchron FX Strings 1. Doesn't it make you feel anxious and intimidated? Hmm, just like it should. Now, that could be a great idea, adding low percussions that sound like a heartbeat. I love doing this in my project. <laughs> Let's take a bass drum. I don't want it to be all over the top. I will have it at a low tuning for a change. And I'll use a surround to stereo down mix preset. Mm, echoing, yeah, sounds about right. Let's go for the sub-boom now. Vienna Smart Hits. This is an underrated, an unknown tool, boys. And I like it when the low-pitched sounds are more felt than heard. And to finish with, because yes, folks, we almost finished. See, it didn't take us so much time. I'd like some um, metallic, unnerving sound. I'll go for the synchronized Tam XXL, big, big, big. And um, a chain over the Tam, <laughs> perfect.
I'm pleasantly surprised by how such a specific articulation can make my music even more realistic. Let's explore another articulation. Now the arpeggios. Man, this is so hard. This is one of the easiest things to play on a real instrument and the hardest thing to do with a sample library. But Vienna Symphonic Libraries answered our prayers and now we have several arpeggios of different chords at different speeds and with several note release options. <laughs> Wow, you might expect that the arpeggio would not loop in sync 100% when crossing through different velocity layers. But it actually stays in tempo. It's like if you were asking your violin section, okay, forte please. And now piano. While playing. Let's try the augmented one, 160 BPM. Oh. I would need it to go faster. Can it go faster? Yes, of course! The time stretch feature of the synchron player is also effective in this scenario. And the sample is not excessively distorted, thereby providing considerable flexibility. But enough talk, let's record. Oh, we need a scary melody to accompany this unsettling arpeggio. It will be our villain theme. <laughs> Quick, some trombones in octaves. bit of percussion now. Some low end for the strings. Guys, how cool is that? Seriously. Come on, another articulation. Um, I would like to try the ricochet now. Now that's fun. It makes me want to um, write some funny light music that the musician perform with a smile on their faces. You see what I mean? Let's make some um, short funny notes with uh, ricochet and staccato. The ricochets are a bit too slow. Not a problem, I'll time stretch it just a bit. Let's try um, to make all the Vienna team dance while watching this video. What do you think, guys? Now for the accompaniment. I wish we had <laughs> a synchron ukulele. However, we do have some pizzicato chord strums, which we shall assign to the violas. That will do. A 
again, a bit of time stretching, just a bit. Very good. And now the cellos, pizzicato. Good. To add more whimsy to my example, I will add some woodwinds, a clarinet and a bassoon to make a second theme. <laughs> We're done with this example already. And that was pretty fast. Making something like that would have taken me a lot of time. Tweaking the samples and stuff. Synchron Duality Strings Virtuoso is definitely a time saver. Synchron Duality Strings Virtuoso brings new runs. How do they sound like? Oh, chromatic ones. That's cool. You can choose the interval, the direction. What about this one? Oh man. Oh boy, that sounds killer. Man, man, hold on. I, I, I must record this. And um, now, some violas as if they were responding. Timpani. And for doubling the timpani, some cellos playing tight spiccatos. Here we are, guys. I'm telling you, you shouldn't really miss out these new Synchron Duality Strings Virtuoso. Thanks for watching, have a nice one, and I will see you very soon. Cheers! <laughs>